Okay guys, so today I'll be showing you how to play any Xenia game or any Xbox 360 emulated game above 60 FPS without the CPU just kind of crapping it and going really quick. First, we're going to download Xenia Canary because the original Xenia, you can't do this with. So just go to releases, download the most recent one. Once you've downloaded it, extract these two files to wherever you want them to be extracted to. You might want to do it on your C drive because your C drive is probably the fastest one. Just a quick heads up, start XeniaCanary.exe before you continue these steps. You have to start the executable. Don't launch any games at all. Just open the executable, then close it. Make sure you leave it open for at least like 10 seconds. And then open the folder that contains Xenia. Go into the configuration file and find vsync. So you want to press Control and F. So CTRL plus F, just like that. And then search for vsync. Keep searching for it until you find it. And then here where it says vsync, you want to change this from, it'll look like this, true. You want to change that to false. And then go here. And then go frame rate, and you'll find frame rate limit. And you, ideally, you don't want to go above 120 FPS because weird things start happening. So try and stick to 120. But if you have a higher refresh rate monitor, you can always try higher refresh rates. And if your computer is beefy enough, you can always try that. Okay, and now this is for people with NVIDIA graphics cards that have variable refresh rate or G-Sync. You want to go here to your NVIDIA control panel. Normally, you can just right click on the desktop, press NVIDIA control panel or it'll be in this corner here, or you can just search it. Okay, then you want to go to manage 3D settings up here on the top left, go into program settings, add a program, and then normally if you've already run Xenia, it'll just be in here ready for you. Or you can go to browse and then find the file you're looking for. And then in the program settings for Xenia, you want to go down to where monitor technology, change this to fixed refresh, turn on low latency, don't put on ultra, keep it on on. And then for vertical sync, so vsync, make sure it's on use the 3D application setting. And then preferred refresh rate, just put it to the highest available. And then once you're done with that, just down here in the bottom right, press apply. And then locate your Xenia folder, open Xenia, open your game. And there we go. If I open the FPS thing down here, and you will see we are running it officially above 60 FPS. So just a quick side note, to get the configuration file to turn the frame rate high and to get vSync off, you have to start Xenia first. So start Xenia, then play a game, obviously, to create that configuration file and then you'll be pretty much ready to go. Those are probably the only two flags you'll need to set if you don't have a G-Sync monitor. If you do have a G-Sync monitor, then obviously you're gonna have to follow the steps that I showed. But apart from that, you guys should be okay. And if this doesn't work, try an older version of Xenia, a newer version of Xenia, but make sure you use the Canary version so you can change the configuration file. And actually make sure your game supports it as well. Because if the game you're playing, when you're playing with a high frame rate, starts freaking out, then it's most likely not supported. It's not gonna work well. Thanks for watching, guys. 